Hello, this is Dennis, and today I want to give a little introduction on how to study the Bible. The other day, I was on the internet and I was looking through and I saw an interesting article in Reader's Digest on the 24 surprising facts of the Bible. And I wanted to share a few of those facts with you today. The Bible is the best-selling book of all time. And there are over 25 million copies sold each year in the United States. And interesting enough, it is the most shoplifted book in the world. Men and women down through the ages have shed their blood so that we can have the Bible today. Most households have Bibles. And strangely enough, even with these surprising facts, uh, the Bible in most homes lays on the shelf gathering dust. And that was my experience. When I was a, a young boy, my mom used to urge me to read the Bible and it was boring. It was not interesting at all. And circumstances took place in my life to where I came to a crossroad. I wondered, what is the point of life? And I just felt really unsatisfied. And so a battle went on in my mind and I had to make a decision. Do I continue my unsatisfied life or do I give my life to the Creator God? And so I ended up giving my life to the Creator God. I asked for forgiveness of my sins. And strangely enough, the Bible that once was boring and uninteresting and hard to understand, God put that gift of a hungering and thirsting in my life. And so I started looking at videos and listening to sermons and I was really into it and a pastor came into my life and he gave me the most important uh, advice that I've ever had. He said, lay aside all those videos and cassettes and get on your hands and knees and allow the Holy Spirit to teach you. And so it's one thing for someone else to discover the gold and share it with you, but it's another thing if you have dis discovered the goal for yourself. So you may ask, how, do I, uh, how can I understand the Bible? 1 Corinthians 2.14 says, it's the Holy Spirit that helps us to understand the Bible. And I make it a point every morning to first thing is I pray. I pray and I claim the promise, and my most popular promise is John 14.26, and where it's asking the Holy Spirit to guide and to teach you. And there are other promises too that you could use too. And so then he teaches me, he guides me in my life. And one more point, uh, this is about you personally. You're having a personal relationship with God. So when you're reading the Bible, it applies to you. Don't let it think that I, this is what my neighbor needs or my friend or my spouse. This is what you need personally. And the more you apply it to your life, the more God is going to open up greater understanding of the Bible to you. And communicate with Him. Talk to Him. And ask Him questions. And then allow the Bible to answer those questions. So this has been an introduction on how to study the Bible. So check out our other videos so that we can study the Bible together.